And we're pleased to welcome to our Talil studios today the second vice president of Royal Canadian Legion Branch 150, the Isle Madame branch. Jerry Sampson is here. Jerry, welcome once again to Talil. You're no stranger to this studio, so glad to have you here. Thank you very much, Adam. It's, it's great to be here. Well, we're glad to have you, especially because not only are you the second vice president of Branch 150, you are also the chair of the Veteran Banner Committee, and that's part of a special project that Isle Madame Branch 150 is setting up over the next few weeks, carrying over to the fall. Can you tell us a bit about what this is all about? Sure. Uh, well, our, our main objective when it comes to the banner project is honoring our veterans. If you look at the past years and you look at the great job that they have uh, accomplished in, in the Lewisdale area and in the St. Peter's with Branch 47, they've done a great job. And if you look at people today, how quick to forget uh, things that are happening in this world, uh, we always want people to remember our veterans. Mm -hmm. And we figure that by putting banners on, on the poles, uh, from the last Friday in October, which is uh, the opening of the Poppy campaign. Mm -hmm. And from there, we'll, we'll run it till two days or three days after Remembrance Day. And we want to call this the Walk of Honor. Mm -hmm. So people can come and walk the sidewalk and view the pictures and, and marvel at these people who have sacrifice so much for us. Mm -hmm. And you've mentioned the work being done by Royal Canadian Legion, St. Peter's Branch 47, and we're surrounded by some of the yes. examples yes. of what's available here. Mm -hmm. And you folks are going to be reaching out to people here in Isle Madame and people who are involved in Branch 150 and veterans in our area over the next few weeks. Yes. And one of the reasons that we did want to have you in is we were talking just before we started this interview, the term veteran doesn't mean what it meant in the past. So you'll be reaching out to different people and wondering if you could talk a little bit about that right now. Well, the term veteran has changed in, in the past 10 years or so, that at one time we had a lot of war vets, people that have served in World War I, II, Afghanistan, Korea, and so on. But now the term has changed that anybody who has served in the Canadian Armed Forces any amount of time and has retired is entitled to the name veterans. And uh, which is great because we have so many people here that have been in the forces and uh, deserve the name veterans because they did serve and they did provide uh, the safety and, and uh, the comfort of living here in Canada. So you'll be reaching out to a number of different people over the next few weeks. I understand the deadline to participate in the Walk of Honor project for Branch 150 is May the 15th. No, it, uh, Oh, I stand me. corrected? Yeah, it, it's going to be May the 30th. We're uh, going to send out the, the cover letter. And with the cover letter, it has, what has to come out of that is going to be a commitment. And then once the commitment is done, we will send an information sheet they will return the information sheet to us and then with, along with, with the money and then we'll uh, forward it to Colin McDougall at Joe Pops mm -hmm. who has, has been the, the creator of these, these here and uh, he can make the banners and we'll have them ready for Remembrance Day. Well, that sounds terrific. Yeah. So just going back to the idea that uh, there's a different definition for veterans. So. The form that you're sending out has several different distinctions of people who have served, mm -hmm. and you have a copy of that yes, there. So can you give us a sense of who is eligible for this specific project, the Walk of Honor project? Well, anybody, anybody who's, who's uh, uh, relative served in World War I, mm -hmm. World War II, the Korean conflict, along with Afghanistan, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, peacekeeping, we have people that have, that have participated in, in, in peacekeeping, uh, for example, in, in Cyprus, where Cyprus is divided between Greece and, and Turkey, mm -hmm. and uh, the Canadian forces did some, uh, some peacekeeping there. Yes. And, of course, you know uh, the, the go-ahead that there was in Rwanda mm -hmm. with uh, uh, the racket that went on there of people killing people and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So we want to honor, along, but, but along with that, too, we have people that had served in, 
the reserves, for example, uh, uh, cadet mm -hmm. officers, and we have, we have quite a few in this area, mm -hmm. along with, uh, of course, our merchant marines. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, we try to include everybody. We're, if, if you look at this, it's, it's a monster of a project. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try our best not to miss anybody, mm -hmm. but we know that we are. And uh, this is the one thing that, that I would like to emphasize to the audience is, is the fact that if you see this, if you're looking at this interview, make sure that you pass it on to somebody who has a veteran in their family. Mm -hmm. So they can have the opportunity to have this uh, for their loved ones. Now, if you look at, at our, our, our uh, display here that we have, yes. we have this kind here, which is a banner. Now, if you look at the banner, they don't last very long because of the fact that they, they crack in the center. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at this one. This one is, is made out of aluminum. Yes. And what we're looking at is this size, but with a, with a picture like this up above. And again, it says, honoring our veterans. Mm -hmm. And put the picture along with the, the name and his rank and where he served with our logo down below, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch mm -hmm. 150. So this is what we're looking at. And we're looking at putting four of them on one of the poles. We have 13 poles. Okay. So with the 13 poles, we can allow for 50, uh, 56 people or 58 people, whatever, 56, yes. I think. And we want to be able to put one back to back. Mm. So this is what we're looking at as, as far as, and it, it's a beautiful banner and it's going to really, really, uh, emphasize uh, the importance of Remembrance Day. It's extremely well done, and it's visible whether you're walking along or whether you're driving along, yes. too. I mean, you catch an eye-catching banner like this uh, with the faces here, too. And, I mean, this fine gentleman here, uh, Sergeant Sampson, is from my stomping grounds of Lordways, mm -hmm. so it's nice to see uh, that these projects are taking in veterans from all mm -hmm. over Richmond County and especially the focus for Isle Madame uh, with Branch 150. So what is the cost involved for people who are taking part in the project? We're looking at one side of this particular uh, poster or, or banner and it's going to be uh, about $200 to get it. Okay. But it's a one-shot deal. They will be put up every year. They will be taken down every year. They will be stored. So. Uh, if you look at, at the difference there is between that, you, they paid, I think it's $175 for that one. And if you look at the lasting part of it, Adam, uh, mm -hmm. this is going to last 10 times longer than what that does. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. So, and we're looking at, at, at a cost of $200 per family. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, again, having said that, uh, we're always looking for people to uh, make donations, mm -hmm. and if anybody is listening, uh, businesses especially, if you're listening and you're interested in helping us along with this or helping families along, uh, we would certainly appreciate it. And what we're doing through this interview as well, too, our viewers may have seen it by now, is we're putting up the phone numbers of the various people to contact mm -hmm. to be a part of the Walk of Fame, mm -hmm. uh, including yourself. So yeah. we'll have those rolling. Mm -hmm. and. I'm glad that you brought that up because I want to talk to you a little bit while we have you here about fundraising for the Royal Canadian Legion branches and why that's so important, especially now. Of course, we're coming out of a very difficult two years. It was not always easy for groups like the Royal Canadian Legion to be able to have its standard fundraisers. So can you tell me a little bit about what it's been like these past two years having to follow the provincial restrictions and not being able to fundraise and to hold events as you normally would? It's been, it's been hectic. Mm -hmm. If you look at, at uh, how many times we closed the Legion because of COVID, mm -hmm. but we've done fairly well. Uh, our treasurer, Joan Clennon, at She's done a, a fantastic job as far as looking after the money, and she's, uh, she's a hawk when it comes to uh, <laughs> finding a penny somewhere, and she'll find it. But uh, our, our legion is, has, has been a very, very active legion. Like, for example, we have a, a pool league every day, and uh, they play from two to four, and they have a ball. Then we have a pool 
uh, league on Saturday mornings. We have every s Monday night, they have cribbage. They have a cribbage league. So uh, they involve probably 60, 70 people. Mm -hmm. And the other, uh, the pool, approximately 20 or 25 people that they involve. And we also have our, our monthly fish fry along with our monthly breakfasts. And, and they've been they've been very successful for us. You had very good numbers on Good Friday, I understand, yes, we for did. the fish fry. Yes, we did, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we served, uh, I think it was 268. My goodness. Which is uh, something that one of the biggest days that we've ever had. Mm. And we thank everybody that, that's been able to come out and, and help us with, especially the volunteers. Mm -hmm. Basically, our, our legion is, is run by volunteers. Uh, nobody's getting paid. And, no. uh, we, we, we do what we do because of these people. Yeah. Because uh, our, our, our service officer, who's uh, uh, Vincent Boudreau, does a great job in looking after the families of, of veterans. And, and you, things are done behind the curtain that people don't know. Uh, like, for example, uh, our, our, our uh, comfort fund uh, just gave a huge amount of money I'm not sure if it was $800 to St. Anne's Center to buy TV. Ah, nice. So uh, things like that we do. And uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, a Bowen gentleman started this farm outside of Truro. And it's for people with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm. And they have a, a fantastic system going. They have cabins, and the, the, the veterans can go there during the weekend and spend a weekend there uh, working whatever. They, they have horses, they're going to have a farm, and we donated $5,000 to that. So our, our legion is, is very, very active, very active. Well, I'm glad to hear that, especially, as I say, coming out of the most difficult periods of the COVID-19 mm. pandemic. And just to wrap things up, Jerry, let's bring it all full circle. What does it mean for you and for your fellow Legion members to be involved in a project like this Walk of Honor at this specific time as you're looking, of course, not only to the past and to preserving the service that these good people have done, but also looking to the future and being able to pass this on to future generations. Well, for us, it, it, it's, it's very special because of the fact that we are actually doing something for our veterans, uh, recognition, which is very, very important. Also that when people will be walking the sidewalk in Airy Shad, uh, by the way, they're gonna be all along Highway 206 on, on the, the, the light, light poles in Airy Shad on the upper road. And when, when people walk by this and look up and they're gonna see honoring our veterans, mm. uh, they're gonna think, they're gonna think, these people did something for me. Yeah. And it, it's very important to us as a legion to honor them. In the past few years, we haven't been able to do this because of the COVID. Our Remembrance Day parades have been very, very sparse. Mm -hmm. And usually we ended up just having the executive there and laying the wreaths and nobody else. Last year was a little bit better. We had, we had a kind of an audience and they laid their wreaths also. And, but we couldn't use the Legion as far as coming in. And, and mm -hmm. so uh, it's coming around, hopefully, by the grace of God, uh, next uh, November. Uh, we'll be able to have a full-fledged Remembrance Day ceremony. We'll hope for the best yeah. in that regard, for sure. We've covered a lot of ground in a short yeah. time, Jerry, as I expected we might. Did yeah. you want to add anything else? Just well, the only thing that I, I, want to, I want to assure the people is that uh, we know that $200 is a lot of money. Mm. And, but what we're going to try to do is we have a comfort fund and we have a poffy fund. We are looking right now at trying to use some of that money towards instead let's say for example instead of having instead of having to pay a two hundred dollars it might be a hundred and fifty we don't know yet those those figures haven't been haven't been brought to us yet but we want people to to understand that we're doing this for our veterans not for us yeah. and we have a great committee with eddie rideout joan clanton and and vincent boudreau uh, these are all people that are very very involved in the legion and yeah very dedicated people. But again, I can't stress enough, if you're watching this interview and you know somebody 
that is a veteran and that should, could be or should be on this uh, walk of honor, uh, you have the numbers, call one of us. Mm -hmm. We all have the same information and uh, we uh, will give it to you as best as we can. If there's anything that I miss, and, and it's like I say, I'm sure that we're going to miss people, but then on the other hand, we are going to do our best not to. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will we'll remember, remember them. them. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you very much, Adam, for, for having us here and, and giving us a chance to uh, present our little project and how much we appreciate Talil and the, the, the service that they provide to our community and to uh, our legion.